Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Eddie here at Eddie Makes Art in me new location and new little studio, I guess you could say. It's actually just the corner of a big old room. Anyway, today I wanna to introduce you to my latest stencil design that has just released at pmartiststudio.com. And if you're wondering who PM Artist Studio is, well, they are P, Patricia, M, Mariah, and they live stream on YouTube and create fabulous art. Um, Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Um, and Sundays and, ten, and Mondays, it's 10 a.m. Central Time, USA. Tuesdays and Thursdays, 3 p.m. That is also Central Time. And coming up at the end of March, they're doing a whole week of live streams. And if I can remember correctly, it's the March Mixed Media... Yeah, I forgot, but I'll put it in the description and you'll see it down below in the screen. I totally forgot. Um, but anyway, they uh, create stencils and that's what I have here. They also make uh, foam stamps and they have all other sorts of stuff on their website like digital downloads um, of uh, background papers and you know scrapbooking papers. And then they have um, laser prints that you can order, which are perfect for doing image transfers onto the gel plate. So um, check them out uh, for that too. Now um, they're based in Texas and it's a family run business um, small business and they are fantastic. If you join their already perks on their website, um, you get an extra 20% off, um, depending on, you know, the level that you're at and, um, you get exclusive access to the PM artist studio, exclusive designs that they create every month. And that is like, I think an eight week, um, private invite for their already perk members and um after that it goes into general public hello kitty so after that it goes into the general public so everybody can um access it but it's exclusive for eight weeks for those Artie Perk members, so check them out. Now, let me introduce you to my new stencil. I have it here in an eight by 10 and the five by seven. They come in three sizes. This comes in three sizes, uh, like I said here, the eight by 10, five by seven, and there's a nine by 12 for those of you who have much larger plates than I. Um, but yeah, so this is called Flores, Flores Geometricas, which translates to geometric flowers. Pretty easy, but I just like the fancy name. So this is what it looks like. How awesome is that? I really love how this turned out. And these stencils are created on 74 pound Yupo paper. And they are uh, washable. However, if you want, you can let them uh, grunge up and give you a nice um, texture sort of thing going on. Um, however, it's not gonna get as clean of a print or sharpest of print as when the stencil's brand new. So what a lot of people do is you can clean it as you go. So after every use, you clean it and wipe it down. Um, depends on my mood. This one, I'll probably clean more often because I do not want these um, skinny bits here for the leaves that um, I don't want them clogging up and, and getting too thick because then you know my image isn't as crisp but eh, we'll see how it goes uh, so I'm going to do what's called the long haul technique and what that is is I slap a stencil down onto the plate and I layer paint over and over and over each time I'm pulling the paint off using a piece of carnival tissue basically like that, I take it off, and then I do the next color. What that's gonna achieve is, ta-da, is really cool um, outlines along all of the edges of the stencil. So when you lift up the stencil, you get this really great 
um, multicolored, you know, outline, and then we'll pick it up with a, a, a color that will work best, and it will be a fantastic print. Now, here's the thing. Yeah, you're like, what are you going to do with all those papers? Well, there's lots of stuff I do with these papers. Um, I just actually put out a video that um, where I showed how I took the old ones of these or ones that weren't so exciting, and I uh, gave them new life, and I just, you know, added more, and, and, and some of them are changed completely, and, you know, some of them are just enhanced, but that's what you can do. You can also do use them for tags, ATCs. Um, you know, any project you can think of, really, it's, these are, these are very, especially if you're using the Carnival Wet Strength Tissue, um, they're very versatile. Uh, so let's pick a color. Let's start. Um, I prefer to start with a transparent color. Let's do this manganese blue. It's blue phthalo. Manganese blue phthalo from Amsterdam 582. Let's put a layer down. Now, after all that jibber-jabber, how is everybody doing? I've missed talking to you. And if you have been following the chronicles of my life, uh, I basically had to move to a temporary spot while my home is being remodeled. And it's, you know, a little longer than normal because it's a two-family home and it's being gutted completely as we speak. Um, and it will be transformed into something more fabulous. So, you know, this temporary thing is, is a pain in the booty, but for what I'm about to, you know, get, it's going to be worth it. Uh, it'll be a, a brand new home. Um, all the systems will be, you know, updated and replaced. So that'll be great. That will be fantastic. And a big shout out to all my awesome supporters over at Kofi. Um, you guys really just threw me for a loop and I really appreciate all your support. So I thank you very much. So here's our first one. Now you might have some extra left there, that's okay. I'm just gonna add another layer of paint. So we've got one here. So, but look at that design. That's really cool. Okay. Stop jibber jabbering, Eddie. Let's get to the next color. The next color, I spin my wheel. Let's go with the Prussian blue. This is the Lucas Crow 4734 Prussian blue. These are great paint. Oh, see? Eddie's back with the vengeance and pouring paint like it's going out of style. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this off because I don't need that much. And it's just going to create a mess. It'll cause the stencil to slide on me and just, you know. So let me just take some of that off. If I need to, I can add some more. And I'll just set this to the side for future use. Sometimes I come back and I do another, you know, layer with the same color later on. So... That might be what I could do with that one. But basically what I'm doing is I'm building up layers and I'm creating, um, you know, a variety of different colors so that I get a really cool outline once I pull the stencil out. Now, if I were to be using a lot more paint. Um, sometimes it seeps through the paper, the, t the wet strength tissue. So you may want to use a, um, a paper towel, kitchen towel to get this um, smoothed out and get into all the uh, nooks and crannies here. Already you can see my hands are getting blue, but it's not a lot of paint. And look at that. Nice and clean. But what you're going to start to see happen is the tissue is going to pick up stuff that's on the stencil already. So it's going to pick up other layers that are on there and start pulling up colors from previous pulls. So these, these get interesting as you go. So I'm going to just move along in the blue family. I'm going to do a little Arctic from Lucas Krill. It looks weird, 
like that, see? But that's just because it's running out. Because I really like this paint. 4723. And if you're wondering about paints to pull your prints that will that will pull a print beautifully clean off the plate, this is one of those paints that you want to use. The Lucas Curl Studio Arctic. Um, also, where are you? Yep. The beige works really well too. Any of the opaque paints from Lucas Curl Studio work really well to pull, but these two in particular, I really enjoy using. Look at the cool design left over on the brayer. Don't get rid of those brayer sheets. They're, they're great for all sorts of projects. Look at me, I'm so out of my vibe doing this that I haven't, uh, that I almost pulled the stencil up. And we're not ready for that. I'm gonna come in with some tissue, just a smaller piece here to pick up this edge. So I hope everyone's enjoying uh, their time. The spring is coming up. So that should be fun. It's coming sooner than usual around here. See what I mean by it's picking up the older layers? It picked up that, that blue depression blue so we got that now I'm gonna see if I can pick up some of this here because I don't want this much opaqueness down too soon because I'm doing more layers because it's a long haul now I may speed up parts of this so that you aren't um, astronomically bored um, so just keep that in mind all right, let's go for our next color. I say we do copper. I don't know why I've been in a copper mood lately. This is a um, Liquitex Basics copper. I've been teaching my nephew how to gel print and he's getting good at it. He's great at picking out the color combos and He's already asking, so what's the opposite of this color? What's the opposite of this color to see what works? And I guess um, we, after um, we had a little play the other day, he went up and he was telling his dad all about the, the gel printing. And he's telling him, you know, all these different things. And his dad's like, what are you talking about? And it's basically all the stuff that I, I've been teaching him. Like, we went to pull a print the other day when we were playing around, and he touched the paper, and he said, wait, that's too cool. That's not ready yet. And I am was in shock that he remembered that from a couple of weeks ago, where I was explaining to him, before you pull a print, you got to make sure it's, um, it's ready. And if it's still cool to the touch, it might not be ready yet, so you want to wait. And he, um, he remembered that it stuck. Yeah, he's very proud of his gel printing. He brings them to school. He shows everybody. Fantastic. So that's exciting. And he loves the color gold. Don't ask me why. He loves the color gold. And I'm okay with that. I just have to buy more gold paint whenever after he um, comes and hangs out, but that's okay. It's for a very good cause. All right, some of that extra copper up. There we go, got a cool piece of tissue to play with for later. So I just wanna show you an example. So this is a tag I've been working on. Um, these are gel prints, both of these. Now this one is a gel print on book page and this is on tissue, I believe. And then on the back is also a gel print of tissue. So this is what you can do with your gel prints. Especially when you do a long haul like this and you've got your, you know, several prints that you've pulled and you're like, oh, what am I gonna do with all these now? Well, there you go. 
So I want to start with some magenta. This is quinacridone magenta from Liquitex. That. And if you're interested in, in one of my designs um, over at pmartistudio.com, I have a special discount code that you can use at checkout, and it's Eddie Fan. 10 Eddie Fan 10 and that gets you 10% off any purchase of $35 US or more. And they have a great great selection. Everything is cut to order. So you're not getting something that's been sitting around in a warehouse and you know allowed to get a little dingy on the corners. You know, no. Everything is cut to order and it's arrives to you in a pristine condition. Wonderful. Plus they always throw in like free tidbits and goodies. So it's another reason to order from PM Artist Studio. Oh, I love this shade. All right. Now we're rocking and we're rolling. That looks great. Let's see, pick up the first print. I'm gonna take this first one and pick up some of this uh, magenta that's left over. What? And now that gives you kind of a, almost like a 3D effect in parts of it. But how great is that? I love it, love it. We're on a roll, let's keep going. And we're gonna do some black. This is iron oxide black. Black also helps to um, give you a nice definition on your, your lines and stuff.
There it is. Maples yellow, Lucas Curl, 4634. a few more layers and then I'll be ready to pull the stencil up. I'm not going for a number of prints. I'm not doing any sort of challenge. I'm just going for a really good print. And since a lot of my uh oh, don't do that, Betty. A lot of my gel prints ended up in storage just because I don't have a lot of room here. So I need to build up my stash just a little bit. Let's get rid of that. Okay. opaque what do we have that might be in this family that's an opaque you know what i'm gonna go for it i know this is patricia one of patricia's uh favorite paints uh patricia over at pm artist studio it's the deco art festive green inexpensive but a wonderful paint Hold this with one of the other prints from earlier. That's more blue. There's something going on here in the middle of my gel plate where it's not picking up the color. But that's for another day. This one here. Pick it up with that. See what that did. Ooh. Look at that. See what I mean? The prints just get better and better as you go. Now, how fantastic is that? I told you. It's a great paint. I always trust Patricia when she says a paint is good because she knows what she's talking about. That is for sure. Get the stencil off of here and see what we've got. Fingers crossed. And be very gentle when pulling up your this particular stencil because it's got a lot of, see, I already ripped it. 
It's got a lot of, uh, you know, delicate spots, so just be very careful. All right. How about that? Now, I could have pulled up more paint, but that's fine. The long haul gives you what it gives you. And it's it's pretty fabulous. I like it. Let me just see what it looks like from the back. So this is actually what we'll see in the front. And here, hope you can see all the colors around the outlines of those petals from all the different layers. So uh, once this dries, I'll come back and I'll add another layer, a pull layer, and then um, we'll be done. All right now this is completely dry. So I've decided I'm gonna use gold. This is Lucas Crow Gold 4612. And this is the color shift in Black Flash. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to just randomly put some of this down. And then oh, and then don't throw the bottle. <laughs> And then some of this. And I'm just gonna see how this works. Yeah, it's all about experimenting, right? So let's give her a go. Fingers crossed. Sheet's gonna be fabulous. Okay, let's watch that. Ooh. So it sort of gave me a bit of a, a bronzy color, but that's okay. I like that. And with the color shift, it should be really interesting. Um, just the way it, it it'll it'll look once it's pulled. So I'm just using some hammer mill color photo copy paper or color copy paper. That's a little thicker than normal. I believe it's a 32 pound. Uh, definitely thicker than um, normal copy paper. And also it has a bit more of a sheen. Not, not a lot, just, you know, enough. But it's it's a nice strong paper to, to pull prints with. Okay. Well, not what I was expecting. I wish I had not used that, but, but hey, let's see what happens. Let's let that dry. All right, so our print is completely dry now and uh, it's ready to pull. Let's see what we get. Not a big fan of those dark spots, but I think overall it turned out to be a good print. Whoa, that is, there's some shine going on there. That. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. My first long haul back after my little hiatus. And let's see, that's how well conditioned my plate is. It's sticking there. But that's that's a good thing. Because that's how I get a clean print. Keep my plate conditioned. Yeah, the more I look at it, the more I like it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Thanks a lot for joining me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, come back for more. Thanks a lot.